Any father, well, any good father, always wants the best for their children. And they pay extra close attention to any situation that their children might be in that could be good for them or that could be bad for them. Situations that will benefit their child and situations that could possibly harm their child because fathers, they're protectors, they're providers, and, and we are to watch over our kids. We're supposed to be that extra set of eyes for our kids, and we try to see things that they may not see. Sometimes we're, we're not afraid to have those awkward conversations, whether it be with other parents or whether it be with some kids that our children just may not want to have because we are the fathers. And in this case with Odell Beckham Jr. and his father, his father's fed up. He's fed up. And it's crazy because we have been hearing about so many rumors with Odell Beckham Jr. possibly being traded from the Browns. It's like we, we hear about it like every year now. Every year. We hear about, oh, could Odell Beckham Jr. get traded? Could he be shipped out? Could he be gone? Could he be this? Could he be that? But nothing has happened. And... Again, the, the trade deadline, I'm sure it was just something that was just stirring up in his father's stomach. You know he'd been sitting on this for a while. He'd been sitting on this thought for a while. Uh, we saw it, especially last year, where when Odell Beckham Jr. and Jarvis Landry were both out there, Baker was doing all right. But when Odell Beckham Jr. went out, Baker Mayfield, he just went on his tear. He went on his tear and he just looked so much better. And then this year, the connection just, it, it just hasn't been there like that. And even in this game against the Steelers, when I watched it, I, I had tweeted out. I, I was like, well, is, is Odell Beckham Jr., is he playing? Is, is, is he even in the game? Because I was watching the game, but I just, I wasn't seeing him at all. And then I checked the stat sheet. I checked the box score and said, oh, Odell Beckham Jr., he got one catch for six yards. Oh, okay, okay, he's in there. And then a couple of minutes later, I see Baker try to hit Odell Beckham Jr. with a deep ball uh, in the middle of two defenders now. And Odell Beckham Jr. went up for it. It was a, it was a little bit high, but it, I think it was still a catchable ball. And it just it, it, it didn't happen. It didn't work out. So um, a lot of people just have felt like this relationship. They've tried. They've tried, but... A lot of people just felt like this relationship with the Browns and Odell Beckham Jr., it just ain't working out. But somebody who really feels like it ain't working out is Odell Beckham Jr.'s daddy. And let's see what he put on Instagram. And I made sure I brought this thing up before it, he ended up deleting it. But again, it's a dad. So cause sometimes us dads, once we get in that mode, it's like, uh, you know, our, our sons could try to talk to us. Daddy, please, can you take that down? Daddy, please, don't do that. Dad, you, you're embarrassing me. But sometimes if we get in that mode, it's like, I don't even care. I don't even care. And we, we, all, got, we all got stuff we got to work on. But anyway, um, his dad in the post, and this was a video. Shout out to, uh, to J Daddy Productions, because he's getting some nice little promo from Odell Beckham Jr.'s daddy on this one. But J Daddy Production. He is a YouTube channel, uh, 163 subscribers, and I'm sure that number is going to go up a lot after people start seeing a report about this. Uh, but he made a video titled, Odell Beckham is always open for the Cleveland Browns in 2021. And he continued to highlight different plays throughout this season so far where the connection just, it hasn't been there. It just has not been there. And Odell Beckham Sr., he put that video on Instagram. Now, we got to work on this because he put the video sideways. And, you know, I mean, he's he a little bit older. So Pops might not be that, that, that tech savvy. But he was tech savvy enough to get it on Instagram and let, it, the world, let the world know how he feels about his son's situation. So anyway, let's read the caption. It says, generally behind the scene, but not today. And he put, but not today in all caps. That's why I said, but not today. So anyway, generally behind the scene, but not today. And hashtag, I'm a father before anything, hashtag, my twin, hashtag, my ace, hashtag, my number one, hashtag, I'm hurting for real, hashtag, playing hurt, hashtag, I'm hurt for him, hashtag, this really hurts, hashtag, very hurtful, hashtag, disrespectful, hashtag, when I hurt, the hurt I know, hashtag, I love Cleveland like I love home, hashtag, I love my son more, hashtag, Number 711, hashtag open, hashtag 24-7, hashtag all love, hashtag Beckham legendary. And then he added his son. A lot of hashtags, right? So anyway, um, so you can see where Odell Beckham Jr. get his sort of his social media style from. Because again, 
the apple don't fall far from the tree. Um, so with that being said, like he 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 definitely he's ready. He's ready. And and timing, I always say timing is everything. And it continues to be. Because he could have put this up, this video up anytime. He could have and the video, let's see when the video came out. The video came out a week ago. So one one week ago, J Daddy Productions dropped this video. So he he could have he could have dropped it. Then he could have screen recorded it and then put it out to the world then. But he didn't. He put it out. Let's see exactly when he put it out. He put it out 10 hours ago. So he put it out. Right now it's 11:30, so he put it out ooh, early in the morning. So he he again, he was sitting on this. He was thinking about this for a while. So again, cuz this this ain't just no out of the blue post, not in my opinion. Mm-mm. Cuz fathers, a lot of times we 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 can work just based off of right here right now. Hey. And, and usually a lot of times with dads when when there's a problem, we just want to figure out the way to solve it right then, right there. We don't really do all the feeling stuff. We know usually that's what that's more of a mother thing. We usually think about the action. All right, let's get it done. Let's figure it out. Let's do this right now. This is how we're going to do it. Boom. And that's what it seems like his dad is doing because re I, I go back to when I say timing is everything. The trade deadline is today. I, I, I think that this trade deadline got a lot of got something to do with the timing of this post from Odell Beckham Sr. So he uh he he, he just he, he's ready. He's ready for his son to be gone, especially with the part where he says, I, I love Cleveland like I love home because he tried to throw that in there like, hey, Cleveland, it, it's not you. It's me. Well, actually, with the video, it is you and it's Baker. So yeah, the, that part, yeah, he tried to show them some love like, hey, Cleveland, look, love y'all. But uh, yeah, I don't want my son there. One of the comments said, uh, no matter what anyone says, I can tell Baker just doesn't want to get Odell the ball. He can have all the excuses in the world, but it shows. He just genuinely doesn't want to give Odell the ball. And when he does, it's usually in bad situations to make it look bad on Odell. Either he's hating on Odell or he just doesn't want him shining for real, for real. You can't tell me otherwise at this point. Now, that wasn't Baker. I mean, that, that wasn't Odell Beckham Jr.'s daddy. That was just somebody commenting. And Odell Beckham Jr., his dad, his dad responded to it, and he said, check, check, check. So that was him showing agreeing. That was him agreeing with uh, what he was saying. Um, so anyway, it's uh, <laughs> Dame Lillard, Lillard even chimed in. He said, this is crazy. And I, I think that would, um, I think we would all agree. Yeah, that, that's, that's crazy. It's crazy. Um, so it, uh, there was a report, because I know... Um, Again, these rumors about Odell Beckham Jr. possibly being traded from the Browns, like I said, they've been coming out for the longest now. Not just this year, it came out last year too, and nothing happened. Um, but then, from uh, Diane, Diana Rossini from ESPN, uh, she made a report on this. Now, listen to the wording of this report because it's very interesting to me. She said, um, the Cleveland Browns have no plans on trading Odell Beckham Jr. by today's trade deadline per sources. So, with that, it was like, okay, you, you, you would think that uh, the way that this is going is going to lead into her shutting down the, the Browns. They're not trading Odell Beckham Jr. because they don't want to. They want to keep Odell Beckham Jr. They don't want to get rid of him. They don't want to trade him. But watch this next part. I was told there haven't been any offers that would make sense for the organization. So she didn't say, oh, all right, well, the Cleveland Browns have no plans on trading Odell Beckham Jr. by today's trade deadline per sources because they don't want to. No, she said, because I've been told that there haven't been any offers that would make sense for the organization. So she let by that report again, per sources. So could be true, could not be true. But by her report, she just saying that, hey, Browns ain't say they weren't going to trade him. Browns ain't say they didn't want to trade him. They just said that they haven't received any significant offers that are good enough, that make sense enough to trade him. So who knows? Today we'll see if they got anything good enough to where they feel like, you know what, we can move off of Odell and let's just let's move forward. So we'll see. But this was just a, a very, very interesting, very, very interesting situation. Because, like I said, when, when, when the dad chimes in, when we as fathers chime in, oh, yeah, that, that means we, we, we fed up. And we don't feel like our kids could handle the situation. We feel like we, we got to step in. We got to step in and, and assess the situation and take care of the situation and deal with the situation. So, 
We'll see if Odell Beckham Jr., as his father, has dealt with the situation. We'll see if his son is dealt out of Cleveland or not. And now, something to think about, too. This is why we as fathers, we got to be patient. We really got to work on patience. Now, what if, what if Odell Beckham Jr. isn't dealt? What if he stays? And his dad just posted this and put that out there. Like, it's one thing if, a, if somebody on YouTube put out this. Again, shout out to J Daddy Productions. But it's another thing if somebody directly affiliated with the team. Like, this is not just any random player's father. This is not a practice squad f player's father. This is not some super, super backup player's father. And not that those fathers mean any less. So I'm not taking anything away from them. But this is one of the superstars on a team's father. And people know him. I'm sure a lot of the Browns players and coaches and all that, they're very familiar with Odell Beckham Jr.'s father. So this now, since he put this out there, and he could delete it all day he, all day long. He could delete it, but it's out there already. So yeah, I'm sure so many people done screen recorded it already, screen captured it all and all that. Because once you put it on the internet, it's out on the internet forever. Forever. It's not going anywhere. But since it's out there, and what if he doesn't get traded you could perhaps alienate your son from the team. You run that risk because you put this out there like that, and especially the timing of it, too. You could alienate your son from the team. So that's why this is it's risky business. It's risky business. So we'll, we'll see what comes of it. Anyway, just like Odell Beckham Jr.'s daddy hopes that he is when it comes to the Cleveland Browns. I'm out.